I just feel awful. Jasmine Piazzisi says what she meant as an act of neighborhood watchfulness has spiraled into a misunderstanding. I was just re recognizing a stranger in our neighborhood and I called the non-emergency line because that's what I thought you did. That someone was state rep Janelle Bynum. She was going door to door talking with her Happy Valley constituents, then jotting down their concerns on her cell phone. Seemed like a little longer at the houses with nobody home. Piazzisi thought Bynum had other intentions, so she called the sheriff's office. Police and fire dispatch. Hi, so I just wanted to kind of inform you guys that we have this lady that's been walking up from Mather and um, like for no apparent reason is walking from house to house and she's not in like any business or have any badge or anything. Only when the dispatcher asks Piazzisi for a description does Bynum's race come up. Are you a white female? Uh, no, she's African-American, from my can tell. A Clackamas County Sheriff's deputy responded and took this photo. Bynum posted it and what happened on social media. Many responded suggesting what PZC did was racist. Again, Here's what Bynum said. I hope that I can be a voice for, for people who look different from the mainstream. But, I mean, honestly, I, I live in this neighborhood. I feel like I should be able to walk anywhere I want. Um, without being second guessed. PZC says race was never a factor in why she called police and she's still trying to make things right with Bynum. I did speak with her and apologize like I said uh, on the day uh, that it happened and but I'd like to sit down and uh, talk with her more and um, get her perspective as well. PZC says she hopes to learn from her mistake and along with everything else, she's glad she knows who her state rep is now. She just wishes it didn't have to happen this way. Laurel. Well, we appreciate her coming forward and giving her explanation. Thank you, Catherine.